What's up, Pop-Tarts? Thank you so much for being here today. I am excited that you're here. So today's video, we're just going to jump right on into it. It's a really just, you know, a basic weekly reset. My house wasn't bad. I just needed to get some things cleaned up. That way, when I got up the next day and started my week on Monday, everything would feel good and smell good and look good. I actually had this video filmed last week and I just have not had a chance to sit down and edit it to upload it. So I apologize about that. I really wanted to get this out on a Sunday, but life happens, you know, so I wasn't able to do that. But we're here today, so yay me. <laughs> As I mentioned, today's video is just going to be like a quick tidy up. I do try to like to get some things done on a Sunday evening. That way when I get up to start my work week on Mondays, my house isn't a total mess and stressing me out. You guys know I don't need anything else stressing me out. I don't need to add anything else to my list. I, I promise you, I've got enough things to stress me out in this house. Does not need to be one of them. Um, Bodie, okay, so you can see him sitting there by the door. And you can also see him panting really hard. We just came in from outside. That boy will not stop. Like he will chase his ball, chase a frisbee, whatever, until you literally just have to ignore him. So I don't want anybody getting mad at me and saying, you know, you're not paying attention to him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because I pay attention to him constantly. I promise you he's just, I don't know. He's crazy. That's all I can say. He's just crazy. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and switch out my little scents. You guys know how I love this Lotus, uh, yeah, Lotus and Pearl. It is my absolute hands down all time favorite. And I generally just go through like one of these a week. And I like to have the same scent in all of my warmers. Our house is not that big. So I don't want to have a whole bunch of different scents going around. So I like to go ahead and make sure that those are done on Sunday evening too. And I have been told by a lot of people that since he does sell like the little, you know, wax picker upper sucker things. That's fine. That's cool. But I can also get a huge bag of jumbo cotton balls at Walmart for $2 and they last me like three months. It's the same exact thing. So that's what I use for that. That is my trick. If you guys are trying to figure out how to get all your stuff out, I've had some people tell me that they put them in the freezer. I've seen some people use like those silicone inserts. Those are cool. I just don't like, I don't know. I don't like the colored things. I don't know. I just don't like them. Okay. Okay. Also, guess what else I don't like? We're, we're going to talk about this because I'm so mad at myself. All right. So I got these jeans that I have on right at Walmart and they're the, I don't even know the free, some, uh, not free people. Free, no, that's not, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. And they were on clearance for $5 and I was like, heck yes, girl and, and boys, whoever's listening. It's a no for me, dog. Like I look and feel like I pooped my pants. I don't know. I don't know at what point in my brain I thought that these looked cute on me because clearly they do not. They have no suction power, <laughs> none whatsoever. Um, and I, I don't know. I just look, they make me look 10 times bigger than what I am. And I do not like them. It was a good deal. Like, you know, five bucks. Heck yeah. And they're cute jeans. They're just not cute jeans on me. I think if I probably weighed a hundred pounds and I was like, I don't know, five inches taller, they'd be great, but they're not. So we're not going to wear those again and we're not going to talk about it again. Okay. So there's that. I just, I had to point it out because it's bugging me. Like that's the only thing I can look at in this video and it is bugging me. And I don't, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I really don't, but it was not a good idea. You want something easier to feel. But you can't put out fire in my soul My heart will roam like water Searching for a groove And I found it in the verse of your mystic road I wanna flow Oh, yes, I know she carries me. 
So as I'm sitting here and editing this video, the more I look at my hair, the more I think that I look like the Crypt Keeper. I think I've mentioned that once before, maybe over on Instagram. It's just getting so thin and I don't know what to do about it. I've tried powders, I've tried different shampoos, all kinds of stuff. And I've even quit using conditioner like over the last week or so because I feel like that kind of weighs it down a little bit. But it is so well, I'm not going to say thin. It's fine. It's really fine. And it does help when I get my hair colored or, you know, bleached, highlighted, whatever. It does give it a little bit of body and volume. So I know that it does need to be trimmed. I do need to get my roots done and things like that. But I was also thinking about getting like a really good, good cut. You know what I'm saying? So now with me being a grandmother soon, I think that I need to kind of just switch some things up. I think I probably also need to stop wearing t-shirts with things written all over them. Um, but I don't know. That's just, I, don't, I can't get out of this style. Like, I don't know how to transition from how I am to, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to say what I need to be because nobody needs to be anything. You can be whatever you want to be. And I guess I don't have to change anything. It's just, it's just me. I don't know. Anyway, I'm thinking about a nice haircut. So you guys are going to have to let me know what you think. I don't know how short I want to go, but I think if I go a little bit shorter than I normally do, that will probably help with some body as well, but it's just something I'm going to have to sit and think about because I know it's just hair, and I've said it before, it's just hair to grow back, but my hair is probably the longest it has ever been in my entire life, and it's going to be just weird cutting it off. Like, I don't think I'll be able to go, like, shoulder length. You guys know how I feel about my face, and I just feel like if I cut my hair too short, it's just going to make me look like a big old moon pie. And I don't want to do that. Um, but I think if I just get it colored and highlighted for the summer and get just a few inches cut off of it, it's going to make it a lot more healthier. And then I can kind of see from there if I want to go shorter or not. I don't know. It's just something I've been battling with over the last couple of weeks to try to rack my brain and see what it is that I actually want to do. So any of your input, I would greatly, greatly appreciate. But I've also been sitting down and kind of writing out some ideas for upcoming videos. And um, I think on one of my last videos, my friend Rosa, she had commented about my corner of, um, you know, forgotten stick vacuums. And it's funny because it, it is. It's true. Like I have like three or four of them sitting over there. But if you do, you know, videos like this or whatever, if you guys are watching this, then I'm positive you've seen other videos that people, you know, are like, oh, I got this vacuum cleaner and this is how it works and blah, blah, blah. Here's a coupon code, right? So that's just kind of how YouTube works. And I have been on the hunt for a cordless stick vacuum that worked good enough in my house with dog hair that had like amazing suction, great battery life. I just have not had the one yet. And if there's a company that's going to be like, hey, I'd like to send you this to review, send it. I'll review it. I will tell the people what I think. I don't care if I've got 88 of them sitting in that corner. I will take one until I find one that I think is going to just blow my mind. And as of yet, I have not found the one. Now, the ones that I have been sent, they are good. They have their purpose for different things. But they're not like a an amazing everyday vacuum cleaner. But with that being said, I do have one that I'm supposed to be getting, I don't know, maybe in the next few weeks or so. And I'm really interested to see this one because it has a dog attachment to it or like a pet attachment. And it's a vacuum like with a brush on it. So you can actually brush your dog and then it vacuums the hair up. So the hair doesn't go everywhere. I really don't know how Buddy's going to feel about that, but we'll try it out. I obviously am going to show you guys how it works and how I feel about it. But it's just funny because when she said that, I was like, yep, you're right. There have so many vacuums in that corner. But you know, like I said, they're, they're all good for their own purpose, but I just have not had one come across that has blown my mind. Um, but what has blown my mind are these sheets. You guys have heard me talk about these sheets and I still love them to this day. They are freaking amazing. Actually, uh, before Ruben had left for work on this day, he put all of the bed stuff in the washer for me, which was very kind, very nice, and very thoughtful. And I was very appreciative of it. But when I got home, I noticed that there was absolutely nothing on the bed. And I was like, oh, he doesn't realize that's a duvet. He doesn't know what a duvet means. He doesn't know that you have to take everything out and apart. And he literally just took the whole comforter and threw it in the washer. It was fine. 
nothing happened to it, but, um, I don't, I haven't had the, the heart to tell him that that's not how you do that because then he's just never going to do the laundry again. So I appreciate it. If you, if, if Ruben ever does watch this, I know he's not, but I did appreciate it and nothing happened to it at all. Came out just fine and I didn't have to take it apart and redo anything. It actually held up pretty well. I was, I was actually surprised. Um, but I do have a lot of laundry that I need to get folded. I wanted to have everything just kind of really nice and mellow. And I turned on my little kitchen lamp. It just kind of sets the mood. And um, I needed to get all of these done. I, If you could tell in the floor just a few minutes ago where I picked up all the dirty clothes that were there, the ring from the bottom of the clothes basket that was on the carpet, that's how long that basket's been sitting there that I needed to fold all this stuff. I don't know what it is, why I can't just get stuff out of the dryer and immediately fold it. I don't know, but I just, sometimes I can. Sometimes when I'm feeling like Wonder Woman and a rock star, I can get the laundry done all in one day. But nine times out of ten, that's just not going to happen. Um, and speaking of just doing things like a normal person, I want to say thank you guys so much for just being here and supporting me and my weirdness. Um, I do this because I know that there are so many more people out there like me that have, you know, normal houses and normal lives. And it's just sometimes off-putting when you watch things on YouTube or Instagram or any other kind of, um, you know, influencers that you just kind of feel out of touch with them because you can't understand that life. Well, that's exactly how I am. Um, I, I just don't understand it sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with it. But I do know that there are some people out there that are, you know, just like me and just like a whole bunch of other people. So I greatly appreciate you guys letting me be me and support me, like I said, and just, you know, and that you're here. I do. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. And if this is your first time here, I appreciate it. I hope that you're enjoying the video and I hope that you come back. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here again. Um... If you, if you are enjoying it, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to come back and be reminded of when I have new videos that come out, just hit that subscribe button and it's free. All it's going to do is let you know each and every time I upload a new video. I know all of that stuff sounds cliche, but sometimes if you don't tell people to subscribe and come back, they don't. And so I need you to come back. I, you know. I need my, my friends, my pals, my Pop-Tarts. I need y'all to come back and see all the fun stuff that's going to be coming up over the summer um, because I'm going to be I'm gonna be having a lot of grandma videos coming up for you guys. I have a ton of shopping to do. I've already been online. I need to find some things for my house. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine not too long ago, and I was like, you know, my kids are 25 and 26. They, they will be this year. And they just didn't have any of the things back then that they have now. So I need to start looking at all the fun gadgets and things that I need to have for my house for the grandbaby. So if you guys have anything that's on your list, if you've got grandchildren or children of your own that you have hands down, you feel like I absolutely definitely have to have, you guys have to let me know in the comments because I'm starting from scratch and I need y'all's help. Down to Mexico and buy a big old house for all the world to see. And I'll cross the barren deserts all across the globe. Cause it was always you and your subtle majesty. I wanna flow. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it motivated you. It wasn't a whole lot, as I mentioned, but I did want to make sure that I got everything kind of 
reset and cleaned and tidied for the beginning of the week. If you guys struggle like I do, just to kind of take a little bit of time and get some things done, I hope this did help you and you got some things done today. But I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you guys do come back. I hope you have an amazing evening, day, morning, whatever time it is. But again, I love you and appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. As you said.